Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to quickly and easily leverage trade Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies on the Apex Pro decentralized exchange. If you want to get the best sign up bonus possible on Apex Pro, you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and you will get to exactly this page right here. You will get a 5% cashback on all of your trading fees on the account and you will also be able to participate in any ongoing events where you can pick up even more bonuses. So to create an account on here after you've clicked on the link, just just go up here to the right corner and click on connect wallet. Here you have two different options. One is to just use one of these wallets if you already have a wallet or you can simply also create one or you can even use your socials. For example, if you click on email, you can just type in your email address here, you will get a code and then you can sign up that way too and later on deposit money to your account. The other option is of course to use one of these wallets. I personally like to use the MetaMask wallet because it's very common. You can simply install the Chrome extension on your browser and then you will have it right here on the top. After you have created an account, you will get your personal deposit address to which you can send different funds. For example, I'm using the Ethereum network, but you can also use different networks. I will show you them later on. And I would recommend you to have some Ethereum on it to cover any transaction fees. And then you have the option to trade with USDC or US dollar tether. So these two are options. In my case, you can see I have some Ethereum and some USDC coin on here. To connect our MetaMask wallet to Apex Pro, you simply have to click here on MetaMask then click on send requests. We have to sign that once right here and then we can see that now our MetaMask wallet is connected to Apex Pro. As we can see up here, this is our Ethereum address. To deposit any funds now, we just have to click here on deposit. Then you can choose between USDC or USDT perpetual futures. Choose the network that you want to use for any deposits on here. So as I've shown you, you can not only use the Ethereum networks, but also any of these other ones. In my case, I'm going to show you with Ethereum. Then you need to choose the asset that you want to deposit. USDC or USDT is definitely recommended. In my case, I'm going to show you with USDC. After that, we simply have to enable it right here. Type in a maximum amount that you can choose. Click on continue. And after that, you will be able to enter the amount right here. Confirm your deposit and then you will have the money right here shown on your account. This is what it looks like once you have your money on here. You can at any point deposit more or withdraw your funds as well and you will always have it connected to your MetaMask wallet up here. All right, so once you have money deposited onto your account, we can now use it to leverage straight on here. First of all, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the platform up here. So first of all, we can up here choose the trading pair that you want to trade. In this case, I'm using Bitcoin. Here we have some other information about it, for example, also the funding fees and when they occur. Down below we have the price chart that's just a cutout from TradingView as you can see. So if you click on this little error, you will have some other options such as to draw into the chart or make some price measurements, very useful as well. Here you will have the order book and if you switch here you can also see the recently happened trades, very useful as well. And here down below this is where we can see all of our open position as well as any active orders or filled orders as well as our order history. So very useful, we'll get into that in just a bit once we open a position. Here on the right side as mentioned we have our available margin. So that means that's our own capital that we currently have on our account. In this case, I have around about 1000 US dollar tether on my account. And of course, up here, this is where we can open and control our trades. All right, so let's actually open a trade. I'm going to show you step by step how you can do that. First of all, we have to choose an order type. We can choose between a limit or a market order. If you choose a limit order, you can set a certain price in here. And only if that price is reached, the position will be opened. For example, I could type in 40,800 in here. And only then if the price goes down and reaches this price, then this limit order will be executed and opened. But what I would recommend you and what I most of the time use is just a market order because then we are just going to enter the market immediately right now at the current market price. Next up, we can choose our leverage. You can do that here on the right side. If you click on here once, you can choose between a 1x and a 30x leverage. You can either tap on any of these buttons and then manually adjust them with the plus and minus to go in incremental steps. Or you can also click in here and set, for example, a 5.5 4x leverage. So just how you like it. In my case, I'm going to show you with a 5x leverage for demonstration. Click on confirm and then you have your leverage set. 
Next up, we can choose our position size. You can either type it in here in Bitcoin, or if you click on USDT right here, you can also type it in in USDT. So for example, if I type in $500, that means the position will be $500 big. Here you can always see how much it costs of your own capital. So as you can see, I have currently $1,000 available, but this position only costs me around $100, even though the position will be $500 big. That's because the $100 times a 5x leverage will equal position size of $500. The BTC amount right here is automatically calculated by using this 500 US dollars. If I switch it up to a $2,000 position, of course, this will cost me $400 of my own capital right here because of this five times leverage will equal a position size of $2,000. So that's how the calculation works. Of course, you can use a very high leverage and therefore make a very high um, position size by using only a small fraction of your own capital because of using this leverage. In this case, for demonstration, I'm gonna show you how it works with a $500 position size, which costs me $100 only of my own capital. By the way, you could also use any of these buttons to choose how much percent of your own capital is used or click on here to use a slight controller. So if I put this to 100%, that means I'm using all of my available balance right here on my account in this position. And with a 5x leverage, that means I can totally, with a 5x leverage, have a $5,000 position size, of course. In this case, to show you, I'm just gonna go for a $500 small position to show you. And next up, we have to decide if you want to make a buy long or a short position. It works for them both just the same. I'm gonna show you with a long, so I can click on here to set a take profit and stop loss. I could also do that later on down here, but in this case, I'm gonna show you how you can do it directly when opening a position. I can type in here a take profit price and a stop loss price, or what I would recommend you is click on here, click on return on invest and then you can say for example if my position is 25% in profit then I want to close this position the price is automatically calculated you will make a $23 profit and a 25% increase of your own capital same goes for my stop loss I could either type it in here for example I could type in 40,800 and it will automatically tell me how much that means in loss for example in this case $11 of a loss 12.8% or I can click on here and say, you know what, I want to set it at an even 10% loss, which means $9 for me. Once I have that all set up, I can now click on buy long and the position will be opened. Now let's go through all the important elements that we can see down here. First of all, we can see it's a Bitcoin trade, a long trade with a 5X leverage. We can see the position size right here in Bitcoin and in US dollars. We can see our entry price. So this is where we entered the position right here. And we can also see a liquidation price, which we currently cannot see because we already have set a stop loss, which you can also see right here in the price chart. If you wouldn't have a stop loss and the price would go down this much, that we would lose our initial equity of $90 in this trade. You can see down here we initially had $1,000, but because we used $100 in this trade, we only have $900 left right here. So the remaining one about $100 in this trade would be lost if this liquidation price would be reached, which is currently not um, necessary for us because we have this stop loss already in place. Next up, we can also see our profit or loss. Since the price has gone down a little bit since we opened the position right here, we are now 18 cents in a loss. Next up, we can see our take profit and stop loss. You can also see them both right here in the chart. Here's our take profit, here is our stop loss. And if you click on details, you can see more information about them, exactly where they sit and exactly how much will be closed. In this case, the entire position. I can also cancel them in here or add new ones by clicking on this plus icon right here. Um, you can also drag them around if you just tap and hold and then release it. You can click on confirm and then you will have a new position for your take profit. Same goes for your stop loss. All right, so that's pretty much all you need to know. Here we can see where we are currently in our position. So we entered the market in here and now I can simply wait until either my take profit or stop loss will be hit. Or of course, at any point, I can also close the position manually by just going down here to click on market. Then I can choose how much percent of the position I want to close if I just put it to 100%. Then I can click on confirm and then I'm out of the entire position again. Don't forget to create an account on Apex Pro by using the link down from the video description to get the 5% cash back and much more bonuses, the best sign up bonus possible on this platform. And if you have any other questions, always feel free to ask them in the comments.